Masterclass early on. Journey to Learning program. My name is Brunella. And my name is Lavna. Bonjour mes amis, bonjour mes amis, bonjour mes amis. Hello my friends, comment allez-vous, comment allez-vous, comment allez-vous? How do you do? Ça va bien, merci, ça va bien, merci, ça va bien, merci. I'm fine, thank you. Quel âge as-tu, quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? How old are you? Bienvenue, bienvenue, bienvenue. We welcome you. Hello. How are you today? Bonjour. Comment ça va aujourd'hui? Welcome back. As we continue to commemorate Black History Month, we learn about communities. What does community mean to you? Exploring the community is very important for children's lives. Communities influence child educational, social, and emotional outcomes. It develops a sense of belonging and a sense of place. The family within the community is the primary place where children grow and thrive. Today's book is called Africville. It's written by Shante Grant and illustrated by Eva Campbell. Shante Grant is a Canadian hero. She is a Canadian poet, author, and professor. Are you ready to join me? Let's go! Allons-y! Africville Written by Shante Grant Illustrated by Eva Campbell I hope you enjoy this beautiful story. Take me to the end of the ocean where waves come to rest and hug the harbor stones. where the grass runs high up the hillside and the houses lay out like a rainbow. Where home smells like sweet apple pie and blueberry duff. Take me up over the hill where the berries are thick and tasty. Then meet me at the caterpillar tree. From there, we'll run back the field for football. And go rafting down at Tibby's pond. Catch me a caught fish. Then come watch the sea brings us all its treasures. Then take me to warm summer nights down at Kildar's field. A bonfire burning red like the going down sun. Take me to where the sky turns purple and rose in the morning and light makes the salt water sparkle like diamonds and stars. Take me to where the pavement ends and family begins. 
where my great grandmother's name is marked in stones. Where stories are shared all around me, the old songs still quietly singing. Where memories turn to dreams, and dreams turn to hope, and hope never ends. Take me to Africville. The end. What a great book! This book teaches us about communities. What can we learn from this book? Now, it's time to learn some words in French from the story. Ocean Océan What can we find in the ocean? Yes, fish. Poisson. Poisson. Great. Rainbow. Arc-en-ciel. Arc-en-ciel. Sky. Ciel. Can you say ciel? Très bien. Tree. Arbre. Arbre. Sun. Soleil. Soleil. Yes, you can say soleil. Wonderful. House. Maison. Maison. Très bien. And who lives in the house? Yes, families. Famille. Famille. Apple tart. Tart aux pommes. Tart aux pommes. Can you say tart aux pommes? Oui, c'est très bien. And now let's learn more about strong relationships, communities, and sense of place by walking outside with Brunella. Are you ready? Allons-y. Thanks for joining me. Let's take a walk in the community. Let's see what we'll find. Do you have your walking feet ready? Here we go. Let's take a walk in the community. I wonder what we'll hear and what will we see. What do you see? Can you recognize what type of buildings these are? That's right, these are houses. And this community is full of many houses. Do you have houses in your community? Let's take a walk in the community. I wonder what we'll hear and what will we see. Here's a building in the community. I wonder, what do you think is inside this building? I'm peeking through the windows. What do you see stacked on shelves? That's right, those are books. I wonder, what building can you think of that stacks books on shelves? A library. And do you know who works at the library? That's right, librarians. Do you have a library in your community? Let's take a walk in the community. I wonder what we'll hear and what will we see? What do you see? 
I wonder, what is this building in the community? Let's listen. What do you hear? You guessed it, a fire station. And who works at a fire station? That's right, firefighters do. Do you have a fire station in your community? Let's take a walk in the community. I wonder what we'll hear and what will we see? What do you see now? Here is another building in the community. Do you see that in the distance? What letter do you see? Let's take a closer look. The letter H, that's right. And H stands for, you got it, hospital. Who works at the hospital? Right, doctors and nurses and many great heroes. Do you have a hospital in your community? Let's take a walk in the community. I wonder what we'll hear and what will we see? Do you hear that? That's right, that's traffic. Cars and trucks, traffic lights and people walking by. Does your community sound like this? Let's take a walk in the community. I wonder what we'll hear and what will we see? Look up, what do you see? This is a very tall building. I wonder how many floors you can count. That's a lot. Many people live in these tall buildings. I wonder, do you have these tall buildings in your community? Let's take a walk in the community. I wonder what we'll hear and what will we see. Now let's take a look at this community. Can you look a little closer? What do you see? Yes, those are horses. And the horses are grazing on the land. What community can you think of that has many animals and fields and fields of land? Right, a farm. And who works on farms? Yep, farmers do. I wonder, do you have a farm in your community? Thanks for exploring the community with me today. I'm going to head back home. And in the meantime, I'm going to introduce Kitan, who's going to tell us more about her community. Hello, my name is Kitan Savadol. This is the Black History Month, and I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria is the most populous Black nation in the world. So many tribes and languages in Nigeria. I am for the Yoruba speaking tribe. I go to some few words to you in Yoruba. Ekaro means good morning. Ekaso means good afternoon. Ekave means good evening. Eshe means thank you. Mom, how are you? Oh, that ball means bye. That will be all for now. Next time, I'll tell you about Nigeria.
Happy Black History Month. Thank you, Keaton, for sharing with us your beautiful community. And thank you to all of you for joining us today. See you next time. Try this activity at home and you can use any material that you've gathered from a nature walk. I've used rocks and you will need markers or paint and paintbrushes. Invite your child over and have them create something on the material you've chosen. When it's dried, find a place in your community where you can place it. Offering messages of kindness and love within the community you're from fosters that sense of belonging. Have fun with this and spread joy and love within your community. To learn more about Black History Month in Canada, please click on the link in the description. To speak to an early on resource consultant, call the Child Supports Brief Consultation Booking Line at 905-795-3527 at extension 3550. For more information on mental health, please visit www.everymind.ca. To view more videos like this and to join our live Zoom sessions and to view our daily activities blog posts, please visit our website www.plasp.com forward slash early on. Bye bye, goodbye, bye bye, bye bye, goodbye. I can clap my hands. I can stomp my feet. I can clap my hands. I can stomp my feet. Bye bye, goodbye. Bye bye, bye bye, goodbye.